what's good? It's your boy Dan here again, Saturday the 8th of August. Um, I'm going to do another little mini vlog today. Uh, it's my cousin's birthday this weekend, so me and some of the family are going up to Margate. Little trip, a bit of fun by the seaside. It's supposed to be baking hot today, like 34 degrees or something like that. Um, so yeah, man, I'm just packing my bag. I need to get going soon, link up with the family, then my brother's going to drive down to the beach um so yeah come with me let's see what we can see all right peeps i'm all packed ready to go um let me show you what i'm taking i've got my bag of clothes and stuff toiletries etc um in here i've got masks gloves don't know if i need that anti-back wipes and stuff some water my slippers I've got my clothes in that it's not looking too less outside it's kind of cloudy but once the cloud clears off it'll be all right still baking hot anyway but yeah i'm running late better make a move uh this is my flat by the way i suppose i'll give a little flat tour when i get back but um yeah check you guys in a bit please so people are currently running late it's like 12 52 as you can see i'm supposed to meet up with the people them at 12 stuck in traffic you know about the a406 you know it's a mad thing but Soon touch down. Just in my brother's car now with my auntie and my two cousins heading down to Margate from London. We was in a bit of traffic at first, but yeah, it was calm still. Journey weren't too bad. A couple of hours in the car. Obviously, you can see my brother's got a much nicer car than me, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, yeah. A uh, quick service station stop, we're only half an hour from market but cousins need to go toilet as you can see I'm holding their little dog outside the service station while they go toilet uh, yeah man, really heating up the weather though so me and my brother just dropped my auntie and my two cousins off to their airbnb house that they're staying in um, now we're heading to our hotel which is just along Margate Pier or just along the beachside um, as you can see traditional arcades, fish and chip shops, all of that. Market is proper busy as you can see. Um, not many people wearing masks outside, mostly just indoors. Uh, this is our hotel room, quick little look. Give my brother the big bed as he did drive all the way down. Um, yeah man, standard room. Come where? Look, take a picture of that. Take a picture of you. No, I said take a picture of the sunset. I am, I am. <laughs> Um, as you can see, we're just walking along the seaside now, going to a, a Caribbean restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you heard my little cousin telling me to take pictures of the sunset. But yeah, man, just taking a quick stroll to the restaurant. Uh, up in the Caribbean restaurant now, with my little dragon start. Um, about to order up some food. Uh, I think I've got a picture of the menu for you as well. Uh, the food is pretty good, um, tasty with a little bit of spice, not quite traditional Caribbean but um, it was nice still. Morning people, it's currently 9.46, went to a restaurant last night, uh, had a few drinks and stuff as well, Gam Beach today, it's hot as hell in here, need a fan, yeah, it's mad hot in this room man, need like a fan or something man. Um, but yeah, man, we're going beach in a bit. We need to get up and shower. Um, but yeah, check in a bit. Yeah, man, just making our way to the beach now. Um, luckily, it was right across the road from the hotel, so which was blessed, man. Um, baking hot it was. The sea breeze was nice, though. Kept it, like, not so bad. It wasn't as bad as London, man. London was terrible when we got back. But yeah man, managed to find a spot. Luckily my uncle found a spot for us early because obviously the little kids wake up early. So yeah. So yeah, trunks are on now. Just me and my cousins walking down to the beach. As you can see, it's quite far out, but by like 3 p.m. the tide comes in. But it's really far out at the moment. Is that like a swimming pool or something? Uh, as you can see to the left they got like a weird bricked area like I don't know it's like some kind of swimming pool I think it's for keeping the tide in or, or like away or down when it comes in but yeah it's like a bricked swimming pool area people walk around it and there's stairs you can get in and swim it's just seawater though so I'm not exactly sure what it's for um, but yeah
Hey, you're not going 30. <laughs> I ain't going nothing. As you can see, we're in the beautiful British Sea, all murky and green and grey and bare uh, seaweed just stepping on and all sorts. I didn't go in that far, I went in up to like my waist. My cousins were fully going in up to their shoulders and neck, but man went on that. Yeah, there's me he's in the sea. Um, yeah, man, just went for a quick dip. As you can see, just had my shirt on still. And yeah, man, just walking back out now. Quick one. So yeah, this was our view from where we were, where we were sitting. It's quite nice, man. The sand was decent. Um, it was alright. Not perfect, but yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, man, we had little deck chairs, as you can see, in front of us. Just as they had in front, we had like a little divider thing just to divide off your section. And we had little deck chairs and then some towels in front. But yeah, it was nice, man. It was cool. We were chilling. People were playing cards, having a few drinks. Sun was out. It was hot. Dip in the sea. Got cooled down. As you can see, we're just chilling by the beach. Sipping a couple of beers, chatting, playing cards. It was a nice day to be fair. Uh, the breeze was nice. Get me sipping a quick beer. Just chatting to my cousin. Everyone's around. Kids were playing in the water, building sandcastles. Had a little food, little McDonald's on the beach. That was alright still. Chilling on the deck chairs and that. Building sandcastles. Yeah, it was a nice day. Went back in the water for a bit. As you can see, the lovely clear blue British water. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, no, it was cool, man. Water was cold, though. The water was cold, but you did get used to it. And it's quite wavy and choppy, I'm afraid. Uh, you can see the waves here, how choppy it gets later in the day. And the tide comes in by about 3pm. But um, yeah, man, it was cool. It's a little fun thing to do, isn't it? Seagull attack. Hmm, I'm sure you can see all them seagulls circling. But yeah, that's definitely one thing to... Yeah, definitely one thing to watch out for later in the day, man. As the day goes on, the seagulls just start circling, man. They know when that food's been dropped. And they'll bravely just walk up to you or just swoop down and take any food they see. So, gotta be careful about that. But yeah, that was the first uh, day at the beach. After that, we went back to the Airbnb house that my auntie got, which you can see here. Uh, had some food, some takeaway, which was nice. Played a couple games and that. Um, and that was it. Everyone was pretty knackered from the beach. So yeah, next day was a calm one. Um, we had some food earlier in the day. Everyone was pretty knackered from the day before. Um, went to the beach a bit later. As you can see, by this time, seagulls were already out and flocking. <laughs> uh, played a bit of frisbee, a bit of catch. Just had fun, relaxed, chilled, kicked the ball about a bit. Had a couple of drinks. Um, we tried to book an Indian restaurant, but they couldn't fit 15 people. <laughs> So yeah, in the evening we chilled at the Airbnb house, ordered some takeaway, did the birthday stuff, you know, the usual. Um, and that was it. Tuesday, had a little hotel breakfast, and then we headed back for London, which was an oven. Wow. But yeah, that's it people, just a little quick vlog. That was the Margate vlog. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'm kind of new to this, so obviously I'm getting a bit better at it as I go. So, wait for the improvements. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit your notification bell. More videos coming soon. We're going to catch up with my boy Andy and look at his car again, his VW Golf Cabriolet. We're going to have a look at my Audi A3. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. Car stuff, lifestyle stuff, all kinds of stuff, man. So, stay tuned, yeah? Bless.